I don't think Batman does that, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, by the way, this is actually pajamas. I've worn this out in public, believe it or not. Um, this is my Batman pajamas. My wife actually bought this for me. It's very nice. It comes with the utility belt and the bat signal. It's actually this this thing this thing right here, this bat signal. It's got like a um, there's an iPhone uh, 7 case inside of it. And iPhone 7 hasn't even come out yet, but this this it's it's a gadget type suit. And it's got like departments where you can put snacks and, and uh, gadgets and stuff inside of it. So, yes, this is my nighttime pajamas that I'm wearing right now. It's very warm and comfortable. Um, if you do not have one of these, I would recommend you get one. And be, it's, it's top quality. Bruce Wayne stuff, right? So, a lot has happened since we have last met. Um, first of all, I got a job, a J-O-B, at AMC Theaters. Um, you know, nonetheless, this has been something that I really have been pursuing and really wanting to do for a while. Um, as you know, AMC Theaters um, has been one of the theaters, um, I want to say the main uh, theater that has, you know, stood up on its own and has laid a great foundation as far as just a, a quality theater um, in, in any... AMC theater that you visit um, in any city um, and so I'm very privileged and, and thankful um, and grateful I'm blessed to be a part um, of the new team um, the new film crew um, I'm working in Aurora Colorado Southlands if uh, you are ever in that area you know maybe you might run into me don't hesitate to say hi so nonetheless I will be working um, at AMC theaters and very proud and happy about it now this time, I would like to talk about comics, as I always do, because this is KMRS, Ron Media Review Show, where we talk about movies, music, comics, television, and other stuff. So, um, at this time, we'll talk about a couple comics. Um, last time, I discussed uh, Miles Morales' Ultimate Spider-Man uh, number three, where he's fighting Norman Osborn, and crazy stuff is going down. And this comic, um, it almost seems like the cover is deceitful. I feel like because, you know, when I look at the cover by itself without even getting into the, the content of this comic, it almost felt like, you know, uh, the original Spider-Man and Miles Morales were kind of going to be dueling or going at it head to head. Um, and that's not uh, really what this uh, comic is about when you dig into it. By the way, it's a spoiler, um, this video, if you have not read this, but nonetheless, uh, Peter Parker has returned. And, you know, obviously, you know, Peter was killed in the Ultimate series by Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin. And they fought, you know, in a battle where they both were killed. And now they both are back. And Peter Parker is, you know, claiming his title um, back as the original Spider-Man. Um, and, you know, in, in, this, in this particular comic, uh, Miles Morales, you know, he's fighting Green Goblin. It kind of takes back off, you know, picks up where this one left off, um, you know, where Peter uh, was killed, Miles Morales, you know, he's fighting Green Goblin at that same spot, and he's like, it's, it's all happening over again. Um, but Peter Parker shows up and, you know, kind of knocks Green Goblin out of the way. And, um, you know, Miles Morales, he does a few different things. You know, he's got like this, this touch thing where he could sting people, you know, if um, he feels threatened and he could uh, go invisible. You know, so his spider power is a little bit different than Peter's. And Green Goblin, he kind of notices that. He kind of mentions it um, in this comic as well. Um, but nonetheless, um, there's so many questions that go um, into this into this genre, into this series. You know, is this the real Peter Parker that's back? If so, how is that possible? And is this, you know, the real Norman Osborn? Um, but, you know, also, is it a clone of these two? You know, we, we really don't know, and that really hasn't been clarified yet um, as to, you know, uh, a solid, you know, answer to who and how, you know, this is possible for their return. And what does this mean for Miles Morales and, you know, um, his Spider-Man going forward. So, um, I'm really enjoying this series. I would recommend reading this. It's a good read. So, yes, check out Ultimate Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Yeah. 
Then there's also this thing. I haven't read it yet, but I've heard a lot about it. The Spider-Verse. Um, you know, uh, Superior Spider-Man, he's back. Um, and for those who don't know, uh, Superior Spider-Man is Peter Parker's body, but with Dr. Otto Octavius's mind that's taking over his body and he's becoming the Superior Spider-Man. And so, you know, he's back in the Spider-Verse and this is a series where they're going through every single Spider-Man, so I've been told. Um, but yeah, you know, I seen it at the comic shop. I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and cop that. So I copped it. Um, but I haven't read it yet, but this is one of the ones I would recommend as far as a, if you're looking into, if you're a Spider-Man fan and, and you're really interested in, you know, many different, uh, I don't want to say genres, but um, outlets for reading um, about Spider-Man, I would say definitely grab this one. Now, guys, this might seem weird, but right now I have you in my room. <laughs> that sounds really that sounds really bad and horrible but you are in my room and I want to be personal and I want to show you my stuff right guys so this is what we're gonna do I want to give you a quick tour it's kind of like MTV Cribs but you're in Karan Jones's room and you're gonna see my nerdy section so um, this little corner over here is like just a little bit of my collection of things um, that I had to take out of the living room and bring it to our room, you know, because my wife, she was like, you know, um, hon, I really like your stuff, and I like your collectibles, but, you know, um, it's either going to, you got two options, either they're going in the closet, or they're going in the bedroom, and so I was like, you know, you can't put treasures like this in a closet, what's, what's the use, they have to be seen, you know, and so, um, when you're married, when you're about that married life, sometimes you have to compromise, you know, and so, um, I compromised and, and, and all my, my good collectibles, my gold is now on my side of the bed over here, right over here. So I want to give you guys a quick tour. I'm just going to look right over here. So if you look right here, this Donkey Kong and Mario, I actually made those. They are plush dolls that I created. You cannot buy those in stores. The Yoshis, I bought those in stores. And if you look right there, look down there, you see those? Look a little bit closer right there. You see that? See uh, the Mario Kart uh, little plastic figures from McDonald's. Me and my wife, uh, we both faithfully got plenty of Happy Meals uh, to collect uh, these, these Mario Kart 8 uh, figurines. And the only one we're missing is Yoshi. If you have a Yoshi, you uh, should get in contact with me like ASAP, all right? And... Um, this right here, you've probably seen it in one of my other videos, but this is the uh, White Tiger Ranger uh, from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the helmet. I actually made this myself. Um, I got the uh, the skill layout from Pinterest, so if you're interested in that, check it out. But, you know, mine's not the greatest, but it is mine, and it is dope. And, yeah, I made that Captain American shield as well. I make a lot of stuff. I make a lot of stuff, and nonetheless, I uh, got my nunchucks up there because... I do a little bit of martial arts and stuff, and uh, got my Mickey Mouse ears, cause I went to Disneyland on my honeymoon, and it was amazing. We are kids at heart, um, if you haven't already gotten that. And just a few pictures, the camera, watch out! The turtles, and, um, yeah, right here, I got Mike and Sully, Spider-Man, and uh, Vegeta in the back, just chilling in the corner like a weirdo. And uh, I got, you know, my cards, and. My Lego Batman, it's kind of dark right there, you really can't see him. And a couple of little figurines over there, and I got a gun, and a Batman book, and a light bulb, and a mustache and glasses, and yeah, that's... Also, um, in this drawer right here is where I hold my stainless steel grappling hook. I bought this a few years ago, and my wife thought it was the dumbest thing that I ever bought. She was like, what in the world are you going to use a grappling hook for? And I said, baby, you never know. There could be a fire in the house, and we're on the third floor, and we can't get out, and the cops can't hear us, and the fighter fires are taking too slow because they couldn't get the water thing hooked up, and it's smoke, and it's fire, and flames, and the only way out is through the window. But remember, we're on the third floor, and I got a grappling hook, and that's going to save our life. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I mean, I like superheroes. And it's just one of those things that you could say, I have a grappling hook. 
You know what I mean? Like, you can go over to your friend's house and be like, hey, I just got a PS4. Or I got the Xbox One or the Wii U. Or whatever. But you come over to my house, you know what I mean? It's like, I've got, I've got treasures that, you know, every, every fanboy, every nerd dreams about. You know, I, I can say I have a grappling hook. Um, and a little pony. Um, unicorn inside of my dresser. Uh, but that's, that's enough. That's enough of that right now. So I just love sharing stuff with you guys. Uh, thank you for being able to tune in and kind of get a little bit more personal and more in depth um, with who I am and what I do and the stuff that I have. And yeah, it's cool stuff. Now, um, once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Do not forget to hit that big fat yellow subscribe button. The one that says subscribe, which I don't know, I don't know where it is. Like, if I were on the screen, what would it be? Is it over here or is it over here? Whatever it is, the subscribe button. Click it, subscribe to get the latest on movies, music, comics, and television. From yours truly, Karan Jones, KMRS, Karan Media Review Show. Thank you guys so much, and until we meet again, peace.